From April 18th to 22nd, IndieCade collaborated with our friends at Games for Our Future and invited developers from across the globe to join, contribute, and virtually connect for a climate jam to make games that illuminate climate change and what to do about it. We believe this generation of creators care deeply for our planet and that they hold a powerful ability to inspire and move the world through games. The Climate Jam was born out of IndieCade's belief that our voices, our imaginations, and our games can make the world a better place. We want to celebrate all of the developers who created such a variety of innovative digital games, physical games, and experiences across the spectrum of platform and medium, especially our award winners. They are Most Adventurous Local Goods Local goods is a remarkably clever idea, a simple, repeatable interaction highlighting the possible impact that the most simple choices we make to navigate our lives can have. Simply outfitting your avatar with goods from different sources and supply chains is reflected back to the player by presenting them a world that procedurally gets smoggier the less thoughtful you are in designing an outfit. This straightforward interactive statement is unusual in modern games and makes a powerful effect. I really think like one of the main issues with climate change right now and why there's not really a huge push to address it, specifically in the States, is that we're pretty dismissive of our individual impact. And that's not really at the fault of our own because um, we really are relying on the government or larger companies, corporations to put um, just like restrictions on carbon emissions to pursue sustainable goods on their own end. Positive impact. Happy ecosystems. Happy Ecosystems embeds a clear understanding of the fact that each part of our world is interdependent on others in the central mechanics of the game. It takes a well-understood and easy-to-approach and engage classic card game mechanic, set collecting, and makes it about something much more meaningful. Those sets are built not on suit or number, but on the delicate interplay between the elements of the ecosystem itself. Attractive hand-drawn art and gently rich writing help make that simple interaction impactful and long-lasting. I was actually thinking about how a lot of times when you get seed bombs or you get paper that says you can plant it and it will grow wildflowers, that actually those often have invasive species in them if you're not in the climate zone they were made for. Uh, and so you actually have to be really careful and make sure that you're not introducing things that are going to cause a problem. Uh, and so I was really thinking about that and thinking about like that idea of systems and how complex uh, some of these are, right? It's not just like plant trees, it's good. It's like make sure you're planting the right trees or you're planting the trees where they belong. Or And so just kind of trying to introduce that idea of that, that interdependence. Niantic Discovery Award, Oil Eco Factory Tycoon. Oil Eco Factory Tycoon is a very large achievement for a jam game. Rich with systemic clicker play while clear and approachable in nature, the game provokes thoughtful consideration of ecology by making the player manage an oil refinery while trying to balance the many considerations that governments, companies, and individuals face each day. A game where discovering the system, exploring it, and finding ways in which to adapt it to the needs of the environment is a great accomplishment that engages and teaches its audience. Les tycoons, le joueur doit gérer une exploitation d'extraction pétrolière et de raffinage. Il commence avec peu et doit s'adapter à chaque situation qu'il rencontrera. Le manque de ressources, d'énergie, d'emplacement de stockage et même le niveau de CO2. Tout ça pour atteindre un objectif économique mais aussi écologique. Il aura comme choix. Soit d'extraire du pétrole ou bien de produire de la biomasse pour affiner du carburant ou du biocarburant. Il pourra aussi réfléchir au type d'énergie qu'il veut produire pour alimenter son exploitation, énergie renouvelable ou bien fossile. Grand Jury Fire Season 
Fire Season is an exceptional achievement for a jam game, already rich with compelling game feel, leveraging clever audio feedback and clearly designed visual icons to create stressful and compelling puzzles out of a core interaction that speaks directly to the task of saving and preserving nature. The deep effect of the configuration of the map on the tactics of fighting the fires, the emergent strategy of letting some parts of the fire burn, and the deeper understanding of the interplay of simple parts of a map as an ecosystem are all belied by a simple and approachable presentation and interaction mechanic. Out of the thing, out of the, all the possible climate things that uh, I could talk about, like rising tides or uh, different populations and stuff like that. Which of these uh, do I feel the most personally about? Which of these do I feel like I have something to say? Uh, I grew up in Australia uh, and being in BC as well, like over the past five years, every year, just seeing the, the, the smoke clouds descend uh, definitely had an impact there. Honorable mention. Bee cycle a rich personal experience of why bees matter, of being in nature and why that is important, and how those two ideas are connected. Litterbug leverages a simple mechanic into repeated action that helps learn and master an important piece of environmental citizenship. One More Chance is an inventive world and richly set of layered system that forces a player to consider each action's impact. My Fair Planet is an incredibly fun and simple game that grants a power fantasy not of violence or competition, but of making our world clean again. Blom is a beautiful game of exploring the world and the environment. It is our pleasure to thank the creators who joined us, our partners at Games for the Future, and all of our supporters. We particularly want to thank Niantic, Riot Forge, and the Global Game Jam, IGDA Victoria, Seattle Indies, University of Texas at Austin, University of Washington, AIE, Pacific Science Center, Indie Game Collective, and Take This. We were so pleased that so many creators and partners were able to join us during this unique moment of global crisis from around the world to tackle the meaningful themes of adaptation, engagement, protection, and discovery. 